Good morning, folks. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to our new time slot at 8 a.m. I'm Mark Dilks, and this is the Better Business Workshop live. Hey, feels like the mood's changed a little bit this week. Yeah. Um, definitely the uh, bounce back loan, if you don't know. The government bounce back loan is available for applications from today. So good to um, go and get your applications in if that's something that you're looking at to sustain your business finance this week. And uh, also some announcement coming sometime this week from Boris in terms of the relaxation on the separation so or the distancing. So definitely some kind of change in tempo. Kind of gets me thinking about um, what planning we're doing to think about how we're going to get our businesses bouncing back. So I'll be talking later this week about uh, how we can help you in some workshops that we're going to be running to help you start to prepare your plans so that you can be ready now for your businesses to bounce back. But uh, before we can look forward, something that's important to do is to be able to look back as well. And I'm joined by my colleague, Mark Miller. Good morning, Mark. How are you doing? Great to see you. I'm doing great. Is it Monday? I'm, I'm getting... <laughs> I think yesterday disappeared into a blur. I had a pub crawl around my own house on Saturday night, room by room with a beer in each room, which I survived. But yesterday was working, so I thought yesterday was Monday. Good for you, Mark. Great. So, uh, so Mark, today's topic is learning from our experiences and what, why learning from experiences is important um, to start kind of preparing our business as we go forward. Because, you know, the old saying is, you know, you can't look forward. You know, you need to look back to be able to look forward, right? So, mm. um, so let's get into some of that, shall we? Let's change. So, Mark, tell me, give me some examples where you've looked back over your experiences in the past and you've had mm. to learn to do new things to be able to look forward. Yeah, it's, it kind of started. The, 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 other, the, the business I've been involved with is management consultancy for, for our corporates, John Lewis and HSBC, et cetera. It was, well, I'm fortunate enough to get some of them as clients. And what I noticed was the um, many many of us have seen this. The atmosphere in the organisation is direct result of the personality of the people at the top. You know, no matter what systems they put in, the personality flows through. And if you're not the kind of person that wants to go and learn something, the whole organisation stops because you block learning and change in the organisation. If there hasn't hasn't been a time that we need to learn stuff, it's been now, right, Mark? I think I've been. Sure. Learning stuff till it's coming out my ears, like how do I do podcasts? How do I do webinars? How do I do digital content? How do I contact my customers? How do I persuade them? How do I sell to them? How do I keep them loyal? All of this stuff uh, is a huge learning experience at the moment, and something yeah. we should, uh, yeah, we, we need to embrace as business owners because that reflects uh, it's reflected in our organisations. Yeah, absolutely, crikey, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure, so many of us and people that are watching. By the way, folks, those of you that are watching, I can see there's a few of you there. Tell us where you're watching from. Where are you right now? Uh, mm, absolutely. Comments, where you are. Um, and it's great to have you on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mark. You know, we've learned we've learned so much over the last six or eight weeks or however long it's been now. You know, mm. just doing simple things like this. You know, we weren't doing this six or eight weeks ago. I don't know why we weren't. This is now part of the new normal. Sure. You know, making videos, how to edit videos, how to do stuff live, how to run webinars life is all new competency that we've had to learn and probably skills that will stay with us going forward right so mm. let's, we've got some great content here so let's let's dive into uh what we want to share with the folks and see if we can give them some learnings mm. so kind of this learning that we've had you know we can say that you know playing games and rehearsing in the business is a reflection of our behavior right you know because because we kind of often we kind of rehearse things and we practice things and we learn things so you know games is a metaphor for our learning right mark yeah, absolutely. I think that I think it's very interesting watching people in, in their leisure and their leisure, leisure pursuits, the way they play games, the way they, they approach recreation. Some people are very competitive. Some people are stubborn. Some people don't want to play. And, and games are a pretty good way of, of expanding what we do. And uh, I agree with that, Mark. Mm. But, but often, if you, kind of, if, you look at, if you look at the way, for example, the way that people play games or the way that they interact in their private life, it is very, very... Systemat uh, symptomatic of how yeah. people run their yeah. businesses as well. Yeah. You, know, if you, I, you know, if you went and looked in somebody's, if I came and looked in somebody's garage and in their kitchen and in their bedroom and, and kind of see about how they kind of organize their private life, it would probably give you a pretty good indication of how they organize their business as well, right? 
Well, it's true. In the early days of running a business, like the business partner, we played a game of backgammon. I can remember this, and uh, and my business partner won. I was really miffed. I was really miffed because I was not I was not prepared to to be to be beaten, but also I wasn't prepared to learn um, that this person could play significantly better than me. So I had a strop. But it actually, it actually showed me how I was acting within the business. I was, I was arrogant in, in that, that, that time earlier in my life. I was inflexible. Uh, times like this, certainly under COVID, uh, we need a completely different attitude, an attitude to do that will learn and that will be flexible. Absolutely, Mark. Yeah, you know, there's, there's got it because we all have different styles, right? But, you know, I guess pre, pre-COVID, you know, if you played, if you sat down and played that game of backgammon, you'd have people that were absolutely kind of there to win, mm. uh, win at all costs. There were there people that were just kind of there to be happy, to be along for the ride and just yep. kind of be having a social situation with their friends. And, you know, different play, different people play games in different ways. But but very often that's a reflection of our personality type and, and how we how we act in business as well. Right. Sure. So. What, why is learning from the experiences that we've had important going forward? And there's, there's three main takeaways, right? You know, we've all had a, a pretty deep learning experience over the last six or eight weeks. We've all learned to kind of transform our businesses and, and play the game in a different way. Yeah, the, the, this is the absolute key thing for me here, that in this, in this time especially, we can whatever's happened in the past, many of us have had our businesses um, semi-wiped out, at least temporarily. And um, the question is, if we're not going to grow as individuals, our business isn't going to grow. So the question now for me is, um, I'm still surprised at the number of business owners I talk to who are still not learning. Uh, I met one the other day who, who has to ask others to help him with a spreadsheet. Now, there's plenty of time to go learn how to use a spreadsheet. I know this is real basic. This is a sole trader. So these kind of skill sets, and now we, we need to go find out how to do them. How do we do marketing? How do we learn Facebook? How do we learn Twitter? How do we how do we maximize Instagram? How do we um, engage in recruitment if we're thinking of getting hold of people? I was coaching um, a business owner last week on recruitment methods. We needed to learn how to recruit, not just call up somebody he, he knows. Or, um, how do we do online sales? How do we keep customers happy and in contact with us in this, this environment? We need to have a focus that I'm going to grow so my business will grow. And that, that's in a nutshell, Mark, you've got it right on that slide there. That's the heart of this message today, I think. So, look, when, when, as business owners, when we learn, you know, if when we grow as people, as business owners, then our businesses will grow as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, and, and now in the current context is the time to learn more than ever, right? Now, now yep. is the time to go and learn. So so the first thing is when, when we grow, our business will grow and benefit too. I guess the next point is, mm. Here we go, playing with the tech, get the clicker on the right screen. Nice job, Mark. So good on a Monday morning. <laughs> this is the other thing. I'm, uh, we're, I'm running some sales, uh, some online sales training with, with the, the other company that I run because um, it's, it's very important that at this moment, if you do have staff, that they see that you want to invest in the future. We're not just hanging around, even though they're on furlough, they can receive training, right, Mark, under the, under the legislation. Yeah. There's so nothing, got, got, nothing, got, to stop, nothing to stop furloughed staff from, from absolutely. doing development right now. Uh, I remember working with uh, Motorola years and years ago, and they used to train everybody for 10 days a year. Every person had 10 days a year. And I asked the, the person organizing it, well, what do they do for 10 days a year? He said, I don't care. They just get something out of 10 days a year. They know we're committed to them. They know they're changing. And it's an interesting philosophy. The atmosphere there at the time was absolutely fantastic. And and this is, again, what I learned many, many years back. If the people in your organization are growing, they're seeing you investing in their learning, their motivation goes up and the business grows too. It's an absolutely key thing at this time. Even though money is tight, uh, to, to, to grow people is critical. Absolutely. So, so not only when we grow, our businesses grow too, but when we grow, our people grow as well. Mm. Because we're investing, we're, we're kind of relaying those learnings Mm. to our teams as well for those of us that are employing people and our business will continue to grow so mm. he, he, here's a bit of a juxtaposition let's get right. the back on the right screen again what Go about on. this one <laughs> i think that's absolutely paramount yeah I, I can't say enough about this we'll be here till uh, eight o'clock tomorrow morning if we start on this one uh the businesses are fundamentally the way that people are operating is the business um so if we want to grow the business grow the people Yes, all, all the planning in the world, Mark, won't get us anywhere, right? Unless the people are changing. 
That's right. So especially right now, you know, as we're starting with Boris, as we do the bounce back loans and we start to get our, our feet in the right place, thinking to go forwards, as we start to think about how I how we bring our teams back into the office or how we're going to work uh, in, in the kind of the new normal, we need to be thinking about how we're going to be bringing our people back and, and how, how we're going to help those people to kind of cope and grow into the new normal and, and how that's going to look going forward. But yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. Good, Mark. It's been absolutely brilliant to see you. Let's change this view. It's been wonderful to see you. Uh, there's lots of ways that the folks can keep in contact with us, right? Excellent. That's good. So, yeah, um, and we'd love to help on this kind of subject. If you want ideas or thoughts, certainly on growing yourself or your business, just give us a call. Mark, you've got some details there. Yeah, great. Thanks for joining us, folks. Look, there's a bunch of information over in the Facebook group, the uh, Better Business Workshop. So go and have a look for that and come and join that community. There's actually now, in fact, I need to update this slide. There's actually now also a LinkedIn group. Uh, which has got a couple of hundred people in it as well. So go and have a look in either of those groups, whatever your preference is, LinkedIn or Facebook. There's a group called the Better Business Workshop for you to come and get involved and engage with other business owners to kind of help support one another through this period. If this has kind of pricked something in your conscience or your imagination or a concern that you might have, then jump on a call with us. You know, we're here to help you right now. So yeah. you can do that by getting to calendly.com forward slash action coach Milton Keynes and you can book a pro bono slot there with us 15 or 30 minutes. Away. Fantastic. On top of all of that, there's a ton of content also on the YouTube channel and also on the website at Action Coach Milton Keynes, Bedford and Northampton as well. So folks, look, help us to get this message out. Help us to share it. Um, please like it. Please share it. Please follow us. Come and join us. Uh, this is our new time slot now. So we're going to be here at 8 a.m. every morning now, Mark, right, as we go forward? We are, which is going to be good. <laughs> it's been brilliant to see you, Mark. It's been yeah, you too. It's been brilliant to see all of you folks to too. And uh, stay safe. Mm -hmm. And we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Bye, yeah, Mark. Fantastic. Take care.